I'm in Las Vegas, New Mexico. I've lost my voice. <laughs> from some kind of sickness. <clears throat> I really don't feel that bad, but regardless, I don't have much of a voice. I'm hoping by tomorrow I do. I'm getting a whopping 6.8 miles per gallon right now. According to my truck. And I went like <clears throat> 700 and something miles, so. I don't know what that math is, but well, it's been quite expensive so far. Probably once in a lifetime Barbary sheep hunt. Talk to you later. Rain gear wasn't in my pack list. But I was. <laughs> I've gained a little bit of a voice <clears throat> magically. We're headed into Walmart for last. A uh, little bit of grocery shopping, mostly cold beer. Cold beer. Triple A batteries, that's all I remember that's on the list. But. Cheese. And then where are we headed? Blake Slaughter Burger. Okay. Highlight well, of the trip. I don't know anything about that, but <clears throat> I'm going to figure it out, I guess. See you guys tomorrow, most likely. Unless Preston gets drunk around the campfire. <clears throat> Tough to see. Took us a little longer than we thought. <clears throat> Camp is set up. Performing my oral cares. I know that was whiskey. <laughs> Colgate. <clears throat> Not exactly roughing it. We can be mobile. <clears throat> and uh, I don't have many other words than that because I can't possibly spit them out. So. <clears throat> See you in the morning. spot he's got <laughs> I bet I mean obviously I have no idea but it's probably where he came and hunted like every year so they just put the memorial right on it you know with of course Everything wrong in the name of filming. Come right up to the point skyline myself, but quite an amazing view. First day, it's the second day of the season. Sun's just starting to come up. <clears throat> I've got at least a little bit of a voice so far, so <laughs> I don't think I'll be talking a whole lot today either, which some of you may enjoy that so I'm gonna get to glass and try and pick out a sheep pulled up to this little parking spot and found sheep immediately <laughs> these ones were actually pretty easy to find so you guys are just gonna hang out while we get out off him. You see him? Yeah. Right in the, like you're looking for a white tail in the green, unless they're gone. Oh no. Got him. Yeah, that's not what I hunted. <laughs> I've also never seen this many sheep today. Like that video he showed yesterday, but I've hunted way late. Definitely knew we were here, but 
they don't. <laughs> they're worried, or they're doing their own thing. But they are right in that green. So me and Preston are rookies. There's a one that's bigger than that. Yeah. There's oh shit. There's one sheep that looks a whole lot bigger than the others, and he's the biggest bully over there. We just flat out don't know how big he is, so. <laughs> it's Remember like, our <laughs> beginning of our whitetail days, we thought we shot some big ones. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I was just telling Preston off camera, like, being done on the first day doesn't hurt my feelings, but I also, it's a, probably a once in a lifetime thing, so <clears throat> kind of like to experience it too, with that said. If the experience is a big ram over there on the first day, then that's cool. So, I think we're gonna move, and uh, or maybe not, but watch these for a little while, regardless, and just try and figure out what we want to do. Is that enough rambling? Yeah. Okay. Try and get some crappy, crappy TW Outdoors footage here. They are fucking outside. They're freaking all over. But they're running from the left. None of these look overly big to me, but I, I don't know what I'm looking at really. But no, there is one. Just wanted you guys to see that they're it's bigger than the rest. He's like on that white rock. You so, can see his chaps. So for those that know she like are these all rams? Do you see that one looking down now? I'm looking in my phone, so okay. but he's on the rock yeah, facing right. Rock. Yeah. Those three right there like are this right. weirdness. I'm pretty sure. Like I hate to not film, but I also need to make up my mind. As just Trent said. He doesn't know if it's big enough or not. That's honestly why I'm here because I have a sheep hut in a couple weeks and I want to make sure that T-Dub <laughs> does a ground check yeah. on his sheep before I should okay, go and that's shoot. what a medium one looks like. Yeah. Well, now we know. <laughs> I want first-hand experience so I don't have to do it on my tag. <laughs> Would any small sheep be with this many sheep, you know? Say what? Any big sheep or small sheep? Like if he's a mature ram.
get a look at more angles of him and see what I think. Not that I know anything, but... I mean, I think he's probably pretty nice. Right. I can see the balls on like four of them, and he's way bigger than them. I've been told to look at the middle of the horn and see if he looks like they're touching and his does. Yeah, it looks like this. He also has great looking shafts for a mount. <laughs> like he gets me excited and I think I'd be stupid to <laughs> pass up the opportunity, you know what I mean? I mean, I do too, we can still hunt. Right, and have a sheep. We also might not see a sheep. As nomadic as they are, right. I feel like there is some luck. Okay, I'm gonna... Make sure he's in the in the camera and get in the gun and make a hundred percent sure I'm on the right one there. It helps there's other rams there. He looks that much bigger than Pretty much 400, right? Preston? I'm looking. Is one still leaning on that one, right? I took my eyes off. I'm so okay. Sorry. Yeah, 390. There's some. Between the dead tree and the cliff, basically following that one you around, right? Hang on. Hang on. Pretty much. I got off of him, so hang on. Okay. The one on the left by that green. Yeah. Basically hugging the one, the little one. Right? Yeah. I mean, he's definitely got the most mass. He's the king of this place. I think that low sheep's hearing us talk. Yeah, he sticks out pretty good. Right? I think so. Do you see all the sheep at the top too? Yeah. And there could be some good rams in there, but just not quite. As obvious as him. Yeah, you does. agree? Yeah, he's doing very well. Okay, here we go. <laughs> 400, give or take. Yeah, yeah. Right in the dead tree, right? What's that? He's just coming into the dead tree? Yep, head on to us. Snows is in that. Okay. He's ass. You're gonna wait till it's perfect, right? Yeah. Moving down. Is that my broadside shot? What? Is that my broadside shot? Yeah. Okay, watch him after I shoot, okay? I'm watching him. Hammered him. Oh gosh, hammered him. Hammered him, T Dub. Is he dead, dead? Yeah. Where'd he go? He's going down oh, down. I see him. Stay right there. Oh, man. 
<clears throat> that's a perfect spot for you right there. Oh, dude, that was freaking <laughs> sweet. Did they all get behind? I, I don't know. I, I don't know either. I just I wanted to keep him. Oh, they're over the top. Are they? On the skyline? Well, it does appear that's a wrap <laughs> on this much anticipated sheep hunt, but I, uh, <clears throat> walking up here, I really thought, you know, this is too soon. I'm not super excited. And I kind of just listened to myself when in these situations, but we got here, looked him over, and I got excited. <laughs> so, <laughs> so chose to pull the trigger day one or day ten. I think that's a great ram. We don't know anything about him, but out of the twenty sheep that were over there, he was by far the biggest, and there were a couple other rams in the group. So <sighs> I decided to take him. <sighs> We might be, I said before we left, this looks easy, but yeah. it's not exactly easy, but there's tougher. So we'll uh, update you as we go. Gorgeous setting in New Mexico. Me and Preston are standing here, just replaying everything. I don't really know where exactly I hit him, but over here. So I, we had enough time that I used the binoculars to rest with the butt pad and then I even flipped this down. <laughs> That's how solid it was. Because I, I was like, I need just a little more and I flipped this down. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Toast. But I, I was able to, like when my hands were on it, like I was tense and I was shaking a little on it and I just like took my hands completely off and that held. And I was like, your toast. <laughs> just about there I think <clears throat> we've been solving all the world's problems as we've made our way around here as usual <clears throat> pretty sweet view Definitely killed a sheep where sheep are supposed to be. Preston wants to find them again. I got a one track mind. This big rim just dumps off into, well, flat for a good long while, then climbs back up on that other side. And yes, there could be sheep anywhere, but we chose to hunt them where <laughs> we know sheep live in the rocks that's about all we knew <clears throat> down we go yeah that's where I'd nap too looks just like elk poop cool sheep bed Really cool smell. I still smell the the dirt where they potted away. <sighs> Overnight bed or something. It smells just like a freaking petting zoo, like they say. Oh, I can't smell that at all. I can smell fresh dirt from this bed. Oh. Like just like we were afraid of, or I was afraid of. Now we've lost him. <laughs> Preston's going up there to glass and hopefully find him on my side. This is always the toughest if you don't truly have him pegged. I've got him is down there. Preston thinks he's up there. I thought he's below these rocks, which he still could be. Preston thinks he's below those rocks, so I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Alright, there's a scraggy cliff to your left. Just a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, so I had him, I think I had him pretty much pegged. I just didn't want to go down there if I was wrong. Crazy, the, the sheep trails over here. The only way you can walk. All right, got him. Sweet. There he be. They are stocky creatures, no doubt about that. Look at those feet. Wow. Try Preston's right. It smells like a petting zoo. I'm gonna try and get him untangled just a hair and wait for Preston to show up. Enjoy this for a second. Here, I got this for you. Oh, dang it, I dropped it. Here. Yeah, good. Cough drop. The wise man says. <laughs> Cough drop. Well, here he is. <clears throat> Me and Preston don't think he's the biggest ram to run these hills, but plenty good enough for me. Plenty good enough for what we know. Yeah. Um, he's got some battle scars on his face. And as far as a creature like this goes, he's beautiful. Um, me and Preston are going to take some pics, notch my tag, and get to packing him all the way back around this canyon that you can kind of see behind us. But fun hunt, kind of just sad that it's over, but also got excited and it's wasn't going to pass out. this one up. Yeah, so I mean, he's got some white hair, <laughs> maybe he's old. Yeah, we know nothing. Yeah. We're, we're here for the experience, and it was a great experience and a, a cool hunt cool creature and an awesome country so I'm sure I'll have more video of us hiking out of here but for now thanks for watching hope it was enjoyable and see you on the next one we won't be here I guarantee that <laughs> <laughs> loaded up Preston's about to be pretty fortunate to have somebody who wants to come and help I don't know if I could do this one tripper. If I we got everything? could, it wouldn't be very fun. I think so. Okay. <coughs> Not a, maybe what, 200 feet to the top? Yeah. 200 foot climb and around the horseshoe. We'll be back. What time is it now? 11-11. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Preston's number. Back to the truck, probably by noon, if not, I mean. Probably noon. Not truck, side by side. See ya. To the cold beer. Oh yeah, we got plenty of that in there. Yeah. This is our access to the ranch. <laughs> Preston's the only one allowed to touch the gate according to the, the landowner. I'm guide, New Mexican guide. Yeah. You're not bad for meat packing. I found him. Yeah, dead. Kind of. You were taking me 200 yards the I wrong took way. You to him. Yeah, I was convinced he was there though. Oh, yeah. You were convinced he was. I was the one that found him from the top on the way down. Yeah. Then you lost him. I can't do it all. I'm not getting paid shit. <laughs> Yeah, you are. A ribeye? Ribeye, those weird ass beers you bought. Oh, yeah. <sighs> that shouldn't have been that hard, probably.
<sighs> now you're blocking what we're on the sickness. You're down with the sickness. Yeah. You're blocking the the precious jewels. Sit, can we go buy another tag? <laughs> I don't know what my odds were. 1.7 or 2.7 percent. I think it was 2.7, I want to say. For the non resident. One of the yeah. all, I don't know how many there are. I haven't done the math, but there's some the shooting going. Unguided shooting. There's some shooting going up there. Maybe a vehicle right there. It is. Oh, I see it. Anyway, yeah, one and one. No, it can't be more than three, right? Six right, no, it's tag. like one and a oh, half two. tag, so I don't know how that works. There's one of them. Yeah. Mackenzie, if you're curious, I robbed half of your old toilet paper this morning, so <laughs> that's on me. <laughs> We've got the victory beers. Sit up here and watch over this canyon. Got the ram in. Life's good. <laughs> Brought this machine. Kind of worried because this is McKinsey's machine. And I've put some miles on it. But I think we're at, what have we used? Like seven? Yeah, we were at seven miles earlier. Oh, 11.3. Video. <laughs> Ribeyes, cold beer. Our prize. That was perfect. I was just gonna say, listen to some game we don't really care about. It shut off. So life's good. You agree? What's Jack gonna show you? <laughs> Do we look like Border Patrol? Because we feel like we look like Border Patrol. And we are very close to the border. <laughs> we tried to plan it that way, I think. Black sweatshirts, matching hats. We're in a black and camo buggy. Um, out here for no good reason other than we're here. So we're going to come drive around and look for more sheep and look at more stuff and i'm glad we did this is just really cool to come drive around this crazy country yeah it's huge we've seen like three trucks like i i never i didn't quite know how the crowding would be here looking at the map versus the tag i still don't know remember how many tags there are but um regardless we've only seen a few trucks and the country's so big and there's so many huge canyons it's uh, you know there's places that i'm sure nobody ever goes that are right off the road so Anyway, we're gonna just enjoy our day and look over this crazy rugged country. The end. You got anything? And continue to patrol. Yeah. The border. We wouldn't want anything crazy happening out here. <laughs> well, there's kind of a point in every one of these hunts that you feel are once in a lifetime that uh, you get to a spot and you just know you're never gonna be here again in your life. <laughs> And this is one of those spots. Me and Preston have rattled down, I don't know, like 25 miles down this craggy two-track road um, in McKenzie's buggy. And uh, you just got to want to be here in this completely rugged, desolate landscape. Um, you can't say it feels eerie, but it just, it just there's, there's nobody around. You know, you're way back in here. <laughs> there's no other reason to be back here besides hunting Barbary sheep or doing shady stuff, I guess. So. Um, anyway, I wanted to just take this time uh, to thank, I guess I can call him my buddy now. I never met him in real life, but I talked with him 
probably about every day for the past month or so. He was nice enough to reach out when I asked a couple questions online. Um, my buddy Luke Kunkel um, was very giving with info. Um, and although I didn't necessarily use any of his spots or anything like that, um, the pins that he gave me, I had pins close by. And so that just gave me a lot of confidence coming into this hunt that at least I knew what I was looking for. And it was just about sitting behind the glass and finding sheep. So obviously this hunt didn't quite turn out how I'd envisioned with walking into all these different glassing spots. Um, but still, it, it added um, it added a lot more fun to the hunt, just having that confidence, not being nervous about it. I'm a nervous person. So anyway, Preston's off uh, taking care of some business and paperwork. And when he gets back, we're going to keep rattling down this road and see what we see. Hopefully find some more sheep. That's the goal, of course, but I haven't seen any yet today. And, and uh, hopefully we do just to add some more fun to this thing. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Appreciate it. You see that? That's, it took bites out of that. <laughs> I've literally seen them eat that shit. Watch them eat it. That part is you won't be able to see how big it truly is on there. It just looks like it's all grass. Oh, no.